Psalms 119. It says, the entrance of your word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Okay, simple is somebody who lacks knowledge. Okay, so when I'm moving to this level of greater glory, you cannot move without knowledge, without spiritual illumination, without revelation, without understanding. So, when I'm going on saying the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want with the Lord is my shepherd, I, what exactly is happening? What is God's language to me? Certain light of that revelation enters within me. Isn't it? The light, he says, the entrance of your word gives light. First, that light enters. And where does it enter? It enters my <coughs> spirit. Isn't it? It enters my spirit. Okay? And I know there is an inner knowing. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. The depression on the face is going and we see that there is an inner transformation. But is that all that is going to help? Sit inner transformation? No. Next step is we know the mind has to get transformed. Isn't it? According to what I have heard now, my mind has to interpret it correctly. That's what I said. My state was like from Nokia phone, I had to upgrade to Android and now to iPhone. Mind has to interpret that thing correctly and then I will be able to bring in that obedience within me. Isn't it? So all these steps you must have already taken. I remember when I had to upgrade myself to greater, extraordinary, fine, good results, the suggestion came to me was over time. I've been talking to my closest relative and in London when her daughter is doing that over time. Okay? Seema, you try that. She has her own car and all that. If I get that phone call, I stop taking calls in the morning then. At night, I started taking calls to know uh, because from that person, the suggestion was coming over time and the instruction which is coming from my mentor is consecration. Looks to totally opposite, isn't it? So anybody rushing for over time and trying to imagine it happens, let me tell you, Satan is also very hard working. Yes. When he came to God, what did he say? From where have you come, God asked? I went to and fro through the earth. Isn't it? Doesn't that take hard work? Go to and fro through the earth? So I realize there's a different dimension for which my eyes have not been opened up. Okay? And then there was, we, we all had a time of consecration, okay? We uh, immersed ourselves and it's not just fasting at times, it is a change in our attitude. We can fast 100 days also, but there has to be a change in our attitude towards God's ability to do extraordinary things in our life. 